peace love and empowerment beautiful people i am so fired up right now like it's just freaking awesome i feel incredible and i just had to come on here and make sure that i thank all of the incredible amazing phenomenal people who invested into the mission you know what i mean like i this has been such a journey and such a process for me to even get to a place where I felt worthy enough to even fix my mouth to ask you for an investment into the mission that I've been working diligently towards. Now, um, don't get me wrong. It was scary as hell. Like I was really terrified, but God has been leading me and just pushing me forward because... For me, this is not about me. You know what I mean? The investment that you've made is not into me. I don't need you to invest in me because I got that part covered. I've invested the entirety of my whole being into this purpose for which I was born. God told me, Loretta, you are here to eradicate poverty. And I mean, this is not the first time I'm saying this. I've said this before. And that's what it's always been about. You know what I mean? I got to a place November 27, 2020. The previous day, I had a breakdown. And really, it was a setup for me to really start aligning myself and living fully on the path of my destiny. But so since that day, November 27, 2020, I made a decision that I'm working towards the eradication of poverty. And I mean, that didn't just come to me from nowhere because I wasn't sitting around like, hmm, what should I do with the rest of my life? Oh, maybe I'll eradicate poverty. That sounds like fun. No, this is something that God clearly told me this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And I mean, here I am. I sit before you a hundred and I mean, not a hundred, 805 days later this person, the person boldly and confidently coming before you and speaking this truth, speaking my truth. You know, this is about destiny. This is about helping to heal the world, making the world a more peaceful place. And this has been 805 days of laser beam focus on this single objective, 805 days of relentless commitment an unwavering faith. It has been extremely scary, extremely painful, extremely trying, and extremely fulfilling. And this is only the beginning. I am not stopping um, until I achieve the, achieve the objective for which I was born. God has been preparing me for a time such as this. And so like, let me expound a little bit more um, on the eradication of poverty. Because we're made to think that poverty is just an economic state. And really, that's part of what keeps getting us tripped up because poverty is a lack of accessibility to resources. So really, it's like being in a state of deficit. And the truth is, God is abundance. There's abundance everywhere, all around us, nothing missing, nothing lacking, we're complete, we're whole. So then why are we experiencing lack in any way, shape, or form? You know what I mean? And it took me all this time to get here to be able to speak this boldly and confidently about it. And what qualifies me? Because I have been in bondage to the grips of poverty, until I made that firm decision on November 27, 2020, that that was no longer okay for me, nor was it okay for me to keep sitting around watching other people die because we don't know how to live. You know what I mean? So I took a stand, not for myself, but for all of us. Because I recognize that God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all else will be added. So therefore, if we have this singular focus, then everything else should be taken care of. And I'm here living out my purpose to prove the good and perfect and acceptable will of God so that I am able to track my progress, write the path down 
and even articulate it to you so that we all can walk in the freedom, the peace, the love, the power that is our birthright. Now, as I was saying, poverty, you know, we're made to think that it's just an economic status. So therefore, we already don't know what the issue, the real issue is because we're just looking at it in terms of money. Meanwhile, you know, we are constantly chasing money. Everybody's trying to get to the bag. And that's not even how money works. And I mean, I can only speak on that because I've been learning, continuing to learn how things work, where these areas of my life where there was lack and deficit, how they work. Why is that there? And it all comes down to a self-worth issue. We've been beat down so much, so long, told that we're not this, not that, not good enough for this, that, that, and the other. And, you know, all these illusions perpetuated by society and the devil, ultimately, you know, um, that are making us think up is down, left is right, and we don't know which way to go. But I'm here to, um, well, not even I'm here to, what I'm doing, what I have been living, what I've made into my lifestyle is walking this path to figure it all out. And that's the information that I share. And the mission is to make the world a more peaceful place. Now, um, poverty is a perspective of deficit. And it's like any area where we see lack, then that is a poverty mindset at work. And so it impacts every area of our lives, finances, health, relationships, you know, all of those areas can be in a poor condition. You could be in poor health. You can have poor relationships, poor self-image, you name it. It touches every area of our lives. And so um, I recognize that through a mindset shift and really taking steps on a consistent basis to retrain our thinking, we can really step into the understanding that we're worthy. And therefore, we can access the abundance that is available to us because we now recognize how worthy we are. So you are worthy. I thank you again to everyone who made an investment into this mission because this is about all of us. You know what I'm saying? I um, have been ho previously hospitalized numerous times on the brink of death in poor health. I was diagnosed with four different autoimmune conditions. You know what I mean? I've been a slave to these rinky-dink jobs that don't pay nothing. I'm a single mother of three children. I was a teenage mother. You know, I um, two of my children, their fathers um, died of mysterious circumstances. Whatever that means. What it means is we don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? And a mystery uh, is difficult to find peace in that. Uh, let's see. The list, go the list goes on. You know what I mean? I'm not here to make this video about my story. But kind of, sort of, yeah. Because I'm the face of this mission. You know? And I'm on it. I'm living it. And I'm not playing. I'm not stopping. And it just like warms my heart. And really has brought me to a whole different level. Like I already declared that 2023 was the year of leadership. And like, I'm like, man, God, you working real quick. Like the leaps and bounds um, that God has brought me up and like really allowing me to step into this leadership role is really, really incredible, amazing. I am so grateful to all of you that have been a part of it. And I thank you. I mean, there's still time. I'm on a deadline until Monday at midnight is where um, the cutoff time for the investments that you can make. So there's still time if you'd like to make an investment into this cause. Um, and yeah, I thank you. I love you. Also, I had written an article previously called Emancipation Through Imagination. And that's really what it's all about, the path to freedom through the utilization of our mind. Now, um, you know, I come forth with a message of peace, love, and empowerment because I recognize that that is the solution to the problem, which is poverty. And we know that solutions and problems are on two different frequencies, so we have to focus and vibrate on the frequency of the solution. So peace, love, and empowerment is the message that I bring because that is the solution for the eradication of poverty. Now, peace and love 
are the conditions or the frequencies that we will be on when we step into a place of wholeness. So as we step into those, then we're in the frequency and in the state of the solution. And empowerment is how we get the job done. Us really believing that we're worthy. So I'm out here disseminating information, using the entirety of my being, my life force to become the change that I want to see in this world so that I can create a clear path and show people how to do it. That's what I'm out here doing, LJ the Peacemaker, doing peaceful things every day, all day. Definitely um, email me at ljthepeacemaker.com because I would love to get my article, Emancipation Through Imagination, into your hands. And um, yeah, that's it. Email me. Again, it's ljthepeacemaker at uh, gmail.com. Email me the word article and I will send you the article, Emancipation Through Imagination. Really just breaking down my stance and um, how I believe we can get this job done to eradicate poverty. I thank you so much for your time. You are beautiful. I love you. This is a about all of us. And um, keep checking for me. Thank you. Peace.